My name is Cristobal Wawi. I'm a project leader at the John Innes Centre and I work on weed genetics. Well, I'm Janneke Wolk. I've been working here for seven years and my research is on iron in plants. So iron deficiency is currently the main uh, micronutrient deficiency in humans that affects our health. If you look in the developing world, the problem is very serious. So in India and, and regions of Africa, it's about 30% of the women and the children that have low iron and often actually full-blown anemia. So wheat is one of the main foodstocks that everyone eats around the world. So here in the UK, over 99% of households consume wheat during the year. And, and, and white flour is very low in iron. So where a white flour has naturally about five microgram per, uh, per gram of iron, uh, the chemical fortification regulation says that there should be 16 and a half microgram per gram. The way that it's normally done today is to actually take white flour and add iron filings, so you add metal into the, into the, into the flour. And we've had a request from Millers uh, saying, you know, they're not so happy with this additional ingredient. The other way of doing it is to try to improve it through uh, traditional breeding. But unfortunately, although many groups have tried, including us, the amount that you can increase it is not enough to have the impact on public health that we need. So initially we were funded by an organization called Harvest Plus. Um, they came to us with a question saying, look, we've tried for many years to get high iron wheat and we just can't do it with normal breeding. So in this case, we had to opt for a GM approach where we actually have taken a wheat gene and just made it express or make it be um, active in a part of the, the plant that it normally isn't. So now the important thing is to see how they behave when they're set in the real world, in, in a field setting. And if we achieve that, then that's one step closer to getting the solution into the field, into farmers' fields, to have an impact in public health. So importantly, all the, the intellectual property, all the rights of this are completely publicly owned. So anyone in the public can use it, any breeder or any farmer can get access to this material if allowed by regulation.